Now, if we kind of linearize the the <clears throat> we linearize the the resistivity over small temperatures. So, so why did we draw the graph uh, inclined to the big perpendicular? Check perpendicular. Was there any reason? In the back figures you um, you draw the line not perpendicular. That was no, no, no. It is supposed to. So what happens is we we saw saw the the for, for, for copper we saw it say like that. Okay. Now what you have to do here is is you have to to take it piecewise, right? So 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 this is a curve, right? Looks like a straight line, but it's a curve. So, so what I take is is maybe maybe from here to here, okay? It is from here till here. I can approximate it by a straight line, right? And from here to this point, I approximate it by a straight line. From here to say here, I approximate it by a straight line. From here to here, I approximate it by some other straight line, okay? Because if I take it as a curve, it becomes pretty chaotic to solve it. So what we do is, and how do I go about a straight line? Say, say, say. Let us say I take this to be a straight line. So I know uh, I am talking about this straight line. Right? I am talking about this straight line. This, okay, this portion from from here till here. Okay, and we know the equation of the straight line. So at any point of time, the at any where it is rho, it it is it is not rho. It is the x, the x axis is the x coordinate is t, and the y coordinate is rho, right? This is rho. Okay, at any point, fine. At, at, that is at any temperature, right? At any temperature. I know that my that my resistivity is rho. Okay. Now some at some other temperature, say at some other temperature, it is known. Okay. So at this it is T naught, and this is Is rho naught, right? That is rho naught. And at some other temperature, it is, or, or you call it rho one, right? Yeah. And the corresponding one T one. And at some other temperature, say here, it is, it is rho two, and and this is, the corresponding one is T two. So so you know what is happening? This is say T two, rho two. This is this point is what I'm writing it here T1 comma rho 1. So what is happening actually is this is a, a two point straight line formula, right? And how do you, how do you go about it? You say I, I write it as rho minus say rho 1 is equal to rho 2 minus minus rho 1. Okay, the rho 2 minus rho 1 upon t2 minus t1 into t minus t1 right this is what it is okay so rho at any any point is what so, so rho is equal to what? It is rho 2 minus rho 1 into t minus t1, okay, t minus t1 and, and this into this divided by t2 minus t1 plus rho 1. 
right so i get row 2 minus row 1 into or rather i should start multiplying okay why, why to just keep it in bracket so i i say it is it is it is it is row 2 t okay minus row 2 t 1 minus row 1 t plus row 1 t 1 plus row 1 t 2 minus row 1 t 1 correct upon t 2 minus t 1 Right upon t2 minus t1 it is rho right as a function of temperature now what happens minus rho 1 t1 and and plus rho 1 t1 they cancel right what am i left with what am i left with I'm, 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 I'm left with if I if I kind of kind of take take okay so so it'll become that so if you are given this then this is how this is how your your this thing will pan out with respect to the temperature so what you do is is at any temperature if you want it at any other temperature say say t okay so 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 what you do is is this is row 2 minus row 1 into into t and and plus plus row 1 t2 minus row 2 t1 okay and and upon upon t2 minus t1 this is how you can find it at any any temperature right anywhere so, so this is one relation that that is nothing but the straight line relation. Okay. Now, what happens? Many a times they give you the change of this. Okay. So they may give you they may give you the change of resistivity, the the change in resistivity. upon the change in temperature right upon the change in temperature in temperature this is normally given as alpha okay now now so so it is nothing but rho 2 minus rho 1 upon t2 minus t1 get that this is what is termed as alpha so the moment I apply this criteria here, then then whatever is here that becomes alpha. an alpha, right? This becomes an alpha, correct? So so a better version and and which is normally given is is rho minus rho one is equal to alpha into t minus t1 so what happens if you are if you are given so rho as a function of temperature this is not rho multiplied by t don't take it as that so rho as a function of this is you have the rho 1 at any point plus you have the alpha you just just multiply this with change in temperature with respect to t1 and you get the 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 that increment in that increment in 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 rho so so this is what will become so in in a normal scenario it will be given like this but if maybe kind of someone tries to test you they might also test you with this so don't get signed out and and this is the reason why we are we are so emphatic about teaching you straight lines in maths okay because here and there everywhere almost anywhere normally when you try to approximate the curves we normally take it as as piecewise straight lines okay and this is the reason why fine